back, random TV reviews, your girl and that. And your boy, Stanley. Look, if y'all been following us on social media, y'all would know on Instagram, Twitter, all of that, we've been painting all freaking weekend. I asked some of y'all to help us. Some of y'all was like, you know, if I didn't live in another <laughs> city, if I didn't live in another state, I would come help y'all. Y'all know what? Y'all real black right now, for real. Yeah, because y'all was in the RVA. You in the can though. You've been like, uh, <laughs> just go and show me the finished, uh, finished product. That's why we're late. So if we're tired, if we're going to go ahead and go through this, yeah, that's why. Because it's time to go to bed. But listen, y'all said it was going to heat up around episode five. Mm-hmm. And God doing it, y'all were right. Yeah, it's lit. So let's get into it. It said, um, don't, don't thank, thank me. me. Mm. <laughs> so y'all know he leads these. Yes, he So we start off this episode. We see Angela and her sister going for a nice old run. And her sister been smoking so much weed, she can't keep up. She ain't got <laughs> no air in her lungs. So she's like, you know, I can't keep up with this. So Angela tells her, well, I believe that James, aka Ghost, is innocent because I took a look at the surveillance cameras. He never went to the bar. So her sister said, if you feel like he's innocent, you know, we good people, we good Christians. <laughs> so we need to go ahead. If you believe he's innocent, we need to do the right thing. You need to go and tell your colleagues that he's innocent. But if he ain't, don't go do that buzz kick. And if they don't believe you, then you did what you were supposed to do. Exactly. The blood is not on your hands. <laughs> <laughs> So we see Angela go to the, you know, do the right thing. Go to her colleagues and tell them, hey, hmm. on the surveillance camera, Ghost did not go to the bar. They was like, we don't want to hear the bus get. They say they don't want it because they want them so bad. So they was like, no, we not going to use this. And I'm like, here we go again. Mm -hmm. They got real evidence. Open in the evidence. Open evidence that's for real. Because if they said before that Angela was a, a valuable part of this organization that they got going on, this bull skit, <laughs> and every time she bring them something, they don't want to receive it. But don't it sound like we defended Angela right now? Just a little bit. Just a little bit. She right at this moment. because She's she right now. Because she convicted. She got Holy Ghost conviction right now. You know so what? She want to make things right. She want to go to heaven now. Yeah, she want to go to heaven now. So she want to make things right. So I can appreciate it. But all, uh, other than that, she ain't right in my book. Yeah, How about I you? Would, I, uh, that's why I would get ready to make sure she, you will not in the sunken place. Yeah, I'm, I'm not in the sunken place. So now we see, we got a scene where Ghost is talking to Terry, um, Terry Silver. And he is uh, pissed off. He's like, the only guy that I trust is ain't has been case. disqualified. Now I got to trust you. And I don't. And I don't trust you. And Terry brought up a good point and said, I know we need to get past this trust that we don't have. Because <laughs> I'm the only Negro standing between you and that God don't need. I was like, darn, Ghost, that is so true. It's true. <laughs> Dang. Needle or trust you? Both of them bad? Yeah, both of them bad. Yeah. So, at this point, none of us trust Terry. Mm -mm. I don't trust him. You don't trust him. So I don't know what Jesus don't trust him either. I, I don't know what we going what we gonna do with Terry. Um but to fast forward, we got the case where they getting ready to have a what they call it, uh It was an asset something a as a asset forfeiture case. case. Mm -hmm. Where pretty much what's going on is that there was a transfer, well a check written by Tom. Y'all remember when Tom had written ghost that check, that seven figure check. To pay for that security firm that he wanted to um to hire to protect the three clubs. So Greg and them, not Greg and them, Mike and them want to use that against Ghost. To say that to he say was that he was paid, paid off to freaking kill, kill Greg. Greg. And I'm like, that don't make any sense. That that doesn't my why, first why would been. Tommy pay Ghost? To kill somebody. That would have been my first Wouldn't question. Wouldn't it be a, another person, another third party to to pay him to do that? You know what I'm saying? I guess maybe they're thinking that maybe because of that Lobo stuff and, you know, time and getting figured out and getting caught for killing Lobos, which both of them did it. <laughs> that, but it still don't make sense. It if, don't make if sense. If me and you kill somebody, why would I pay you? <laughs> I don't know. It it doesn't it doesn't I actually thought the question was gonna come up where did Tommy get this kind of money? 
<laughs> and it never came up. But I, I don't but, know. But I figure even if it did come up, Ghost should have been like, I don't know where Tommy got that money. He my friend, you know. He, he, he hey, got he a good job. He, <laughs> you know? he said he got it. You know, he I got investments. It. He been saving money. He, he, you know, he hooked me up. So I don't know. Okay. I have I have no clue why in the world they brought that up. So then we see a scene. Um, Mr. Proctor. He just. He don't know he what's doing there. his thing. Yeah, he doing. He hanging out with his daughter, with his daughter. doing the right thing. And his daughter was like, "I can't believe, Daddy, that you hanging out with me today." They kicked you off the case yeah. because you're spending more time with me. And he was Say, like, nah, "Well, to do with your yeah, life. you know, I work in the case. I can't work that big case anymore. The so they give me more time to spend with you. We can eat pancakes, eat ice cream. We can do our <laughs> thing now. You know, we can have a daughter and and father and, and father relationship. The heck, I'm Angela." And he was like, I ain't got time for your bullshit. Like Mike B said, I ain't got time for your bullshit. And his daughter was like, you know what, Dad? You do got time. <laughs> yeah, you can go ahead and you can talk to her. That's, that's all good. So, hang on, Angela, telling Proctor, I believe the ghost is innocent because of the surveillance tape. And I said, oh. Oh. What they say? A hoe with a heart. Yeah. <laughs> so, so, she finally wants to come clean to Proctor about the situation. Huh. So, now we see a situation. I know I'm going to jump all over the place. I ain't going to follow exactly. Whatever comes to my mind, that's what I'm going to say. Because y'all saw the episode. Yeah. And if y'all don't got cable, yeah, then boss up. <laughs> I got to give Julio his props. Because Julio had was working that Chinese girl. <laughs> God, no, he had her on the table, on, on the, the chair. Couch. He had a doggy style. He I said, had we can look at the baby butt. You know, he was eating out the eating box. What I, I mean, said, face to the place. He got a text message. He was pissed off because he wanted to continue. He had ended up leaving. Look, he was but, still like this. Yeah. <laughs> but he outdid Tommy by a long <laughs> shot. Tommy need to take classes from oh, Julio. Yeah. I'm telling you. This is the second time we seen who No, we saw Julio get sucked off before. Yeah. But we ain't no, we ain't see his stroke game before. Nah. So yeah, he put it, yeah, he definitely uh, He put in the work. He definitely uh put in the stroke game. <laughs> so yeah, so we appreciate that. La la la. So we see uh Tasha getting ready for court. You know when black folk get ready for court. We, we gotta, got we gotta you know, we gotta wear our suit. We gotta have on that best because we can't put on the wrong colors because the judge might think we're guilty. She said, "Nope, red. Yeah. Can't do that. We can't do that. We I need said, we mm. need some we need some neutral colors. Say, you need some hella gray. That's what you yeah. need." <laughs> so, hey, on Keisha side, side that she wanna be transparent. So I'm in a relationship with this white guy, and he laying down the pipe like no up. And Key and um, Tasha was like, hey, "What? Well, what? Why? No, oh, the white guy I know like that is timing." It's timing. And she ain't respond. So dead, well, she went to the closet. <laughs> dead giveaway. Dead giveaway. So she went to the closet and said, what about this dress right here? And Tasha was like, mm -hmm. gotcha. Gotcha. So Tasha, she eventually asked Tommy, said, Tommy, yep. what's this deal with you and my friend? You know, Keisha, what, what, I mean, what's going on? He said, you know what? It didn't mean to go down like that. What happened was Milan told me to kill her. Yeah. And I decided I won't go kill her on respect for you. I'ma go ahead and um hide her away. I broke her off a few times. <laughs> and he said, but it won't nothing like that. She said, Well, she don't quite feel this for you, but I'm afraid that you don't have the same feelings for her that she has for you. Yeah. Tommy was like, mm. She said, Well, wait a minute, Tommy. Um, I actually thought that you were gonna go looking for Holly. Especially after I told mm -hmm. you that Holly was pregnant. Da 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 da. Tommy said, you know what? I ain't even gonna lie to you no more, Tasha. Holly gone. So she what you did. Gone? Dead. <laughs> so you know what? What happened was, there was a hit put out on Ghost. I was supposed to do the deed. I was supposed to go ahead and out my friend, out my brother. And Holly said, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and jump ship. And I'm going to do it for you. He said, I actually thought that she had did it. Mm -hmm. And I thought that Ghost was dead. I would have never put my hands on her if I knew that Ghost was alive. But since I did not know whether or not she did it or not, I killed her. And that's how it is. <laughs> and he said, basically, at the end of the day, I know you may not want me to hurt your friend. 
but I ain't gonna be able to be emotionally available, available for her. Yeah, for her like I was for yeah. her. So, hey, this is the card that we being dealt right now. This is what it is. <laughs> and then Tasha was like, you know what? I understand, but whatever you gotta do to protect the family, exactly, you do what you gotta do. I said so. So so wait a minute, Tasha. But that's how I'd always been working with them. Wait a minute, Tasha. So buck your friend, mm -hmm. buck her feelings. Mm -hmm. As long as Tommy is protecting you and yeah. her feelings. Yep. But that's how it's Tasha. always been between them. That's how it's always been between them. It has. Just think about oh it. My God. But you look at how Tasha used Keisha for the shop to be able to cover up you their little point. drugs and stuff. You got so point. she don't care. You know, ain't no loyalty amongst thieves. You know, Dang. you use, you use whoever you got to use to get your ends done. Dang, man. I'm yeah. like, come on now. <laughs> she said, buck it. Yeah, but do what you got to do. To protect our family. Hey, lay as much pipe you need to keep her mouth shut because we don't need her talking. We don't need these kind of problems in these streets. I said, but I think, but really, I didn't expect, they didn't expect for her to find out as much as she know now. Yeah. Yeah, they just expect, because you remember, they try to do that under the wraps. Mm -hmm. And Keisha found out what was going on. Mm -hmm. So, you know, the gig is up. They exposed, so they didn't need to keep her mouth shut. Yeah. So now we have this guy, um, Simon Stern, go to see Ghost. And Ghost come around the corner like, What the hell? Who the hell that? is that? But I remember the dude, but I can't remember. I remember, but I don't remember. I can't remember his place. So I, you know, y'all. I knew that he was kind of crooked yeah but i can't really remember but pretty much his deal was he was coming in and saying i know that you know things is <laughs> tough to, you know times is tough right now and i know that all your assets are frozen because of this case but you know i can front you some cash for you and your, you know, family. For you and your family to get by and go say i don't yeah. want nothing you got to offer because i'm pretty sure he ain't walking up there offering no cash for nothing. It got yeah. it's definitely some strings attached. I don't mm -hmm. know what strings attached is to that money, but I know he wants something in return for that cash. Oh yeah. So then we see Ghost turn him down. Then he turned around and went to Tasha and start talking to Tasha and be like, hmm. I know that your family's hard up for cash because your asses are frozen. And I'm glad that Tasha didn't buy into that booze skit. Just yet? Just yet. And he was like, well, you know, you might not want it now, but if you need me. I'm here, baby. Here is my card. And Tasha took the card. I was hoping that she wasn't gonna take the card. I know. Just look so, him up for somebody. Yeah. Hey, so, what, so what that pretty much what that means is if you take the card, that means that if you gonna eventually Sorry. gonna reach out to him. You just just in case. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Just like when you get those little um payday loans and them little loans in the mail, they send you the mail and be like, you know, you get five thousand dollars, you already pre-approved. Oh my god. And when you get on hard time, be like, you give them a call and be like, what about that letter that you sent me in the mail? You know that five thousand dollars still available? That's what he was At like. At 29% interest rate. Yeah. My God. So then we see a scene um ghost. Working out again, hitting the bag, uh, up, trying to get the workout. And I said, I know what Charlie Murphy is getting ready to come through. And guess what? He here he, through. here he come. But Charlie Murphy, he talked too goddamn much. Yeah. Because last week he already let Ghost know, look, these cameras in here don't work. Yeah. They ain't worked since last year. Mm -hmm. We already had somebody die on the watch of these cameras. Yep. And they weren't working. So, uh huh, whatever I'm going to do to you, I'll get away with it. Exactly. But what he didn't realize is that you dealing with a real certified killer right here. Exactly. So, so he ended up talking about some, um, you know, I seen that <laughs> fine wife of yours. Mm. Say, boy. And you locked away. Mm. Ain't going to be long till some other nigga be hitting that cootie cat like that. It said, ain't gonna be long until another dude be calling your kid's daddy. I said, maybe even me. Mm -hmm. I said, oh, you done hit the wrong goddamn butt. Next thing I know, I seen weights. Blah, 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 First he got blah, hit in the, hit blah, in the throat. <laughs> Basically, he slaughtered. Slaughter. Charlie Murphy. All this up here, all this part up here, gone. All is gone. Dumbbell, bust all that up. Gone. So next thing we know, we saw um Tony, Tony, Tony Teresi, Tony and Mr. Biscuit, and Biscuit <laughs> come in there too. And I said, how ironic they on schedule. So then Tony Teresi looked at Biscuit and said, 
change the plan. I said, so what was the original plan? Because I'm, I'm confused. I think the original plan that he was sending me to kill ghosts. Because he wanted me to pull the knife out. Yeah, he did. Yeah. So he said, you know what? Don't worry about it. Next thing we know, because he had already saw ghosts over there with a bloody body, jumpsuit all blooded up, da 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 da. Next thing we know, we saw Tony Teresa choked a skit yep. out of Biscuit, kills him, looks at ghosts and tells ghosts, listen, change your jump shoot. Now, now, change your jump shoot. I can't talk. Jump <laughs> suit. suit. And he said, this is going to look like a murder suicide. Bear with me. Bear with me, brother. Mm -hmm. I said, so what the hell is going on here? <laughs> Change jumpsuits. They don't hung over on Biscuit up by his belt, making it look yep. like he committed suicide. That he killed old Charlie Murphy's character. Yeah. And he told Ghost to listen, give Tommy this cell phone. Yeah. Ghost said, listen. This the second time you'd have brought up Tommy's name. What is this? Mm -hmm. You friends with his father? You know his father? I mean, what's going on? He says something like that, but you but listen to me. If Tommy don't get this leg on telephone, this right here, yeah. Coming mm -hmm. back on your hind part. And you're gonna be right back up in here with us. With the rest of us convicts. I said, oh, he just admitted that he's Tommy's daddy. Yeah. He did pretty and much. And Ghost caught it too. <laughs> but we a little bit ahead of ourselves, because we forgot about the case. The dead on case before all that mm -hmm. happened. We got, everybody know, y'all know. Yeah, you already know the case where uh, Terry and them did a surprise case on them and brought Angela to the stand. Mm. And Angela got up there and testified about the surveillance tape and saying that she know for a fact that Ghost is innocent. And here come John and them under pressure said, well, you want to bring that up? I know something about you. That you don't want the judge to know that you was having sex with ghosts. You had Lobo's classified files at in your, your house. at your house. He was privy to the information. He funneled the information and you compromised the case. And then by this time the judge was he had pissed had enough. off. He was hot. He said, Is that true? And she was yeah. like, yeah. Yes. And he was like, wait a minute. But this happened on y'all's watch. All of y'all are incompetent. Matter of fact, all of y'all are suspended. And investigated. And impending investigation on all of y'all. And ghosts, you are free to go. And maybe uh, a competent uh, folk can come in and try to persecute you for this crime. But these folk right here, Can't do it. they ain't even qualified. I said, they gone. So the judge said, if you are guilty... Hopefully we can find some folk in here. Yeah. That is competent enough to, to be able to do it. But these ones right here, they can't do it. So you free to go. So. And we'll we'll be processing you in a couple hours. You'll be a free man. I said. And I was like, that that's kind of what they get. I, and I was like, I'm happy for Ghost to get out, but Ghost is Ghost is not innocent. He didn't kill Greg. But he, but he killed nine nine hundred. So I'm like, am I wrong for agreeing with we're wrong for yeah. agreeing, but yeah, I'm like, but he didn't kill this one. Yeah, he didn't kill this one. He don't kill some people. He don't kill a whole lot of people. He just didn't kill Greg. So he got off for right now. But me, I got a feeling that they going it's gonna resurface eventually, and somebody else gonna try the case. But we know these players ain't gonna try the case. But Matt, Angela knows that Mike did it. I, you think he? Do you think she know? Yeah, she know he did it. He was the last to look at the surveillance camera. Mm -hmm. Um, and then um, well, I don't want to jump ahead. <laughs> Go ahead. Oh, so when they got in the elevator after all of them had to pack their boxes up, she taking the walk of shame, and, and everybody standing in the hall looking like, like okay, they word got around and all of them got suspended that quick. So Mike, he gets in the elevator and try to say some words to her, and she said, you know what? Cause he was like, don't you feel um. Don't you feel like you you, did, you did, did something, something noble today? And she said, yeah, I did. But Greg's real killer will be brought to justice. Yeah. And he was looking like, and I said, okay, because she know it's you. Yep. You were the knows. last to look at the tapes. Mm -hmm. You didn't want to file anything. You yep. didn't want to cooperate with anything. Yep. So who else did it? You. You did. So, I don't know. Yeah. So then we see a scene that Tariq going to this house. Oh, and God. He disappears. Um, we see uh, uh, Kanan go and see uh, uh, Dre the dinosaur. 
And Dre said, this is your last payment. The last? Okay. This is the last payment. And matter of fact, there's a better plan. Matter of fact, you can climb up the corporate ladder because Milan, Milan is, is dead. dead. So that means they can put you on top of your game. You said, good oh, to go. Okay. So I don't know where, where Dre is getting at with that. Dre playing all sides. Yeah, of he the playing corners. all sides of the of, and of it's the me off because I like Dre. Yeah, so I, I I don't know. So he was like, Milan is dead. You can get back on top. Just you just need to leave Tariq alone. Now but you Tariq, don't told him a hundred times to leave Tariq alone, and he still messed with Tariq. And matter of fact, Tariq was texting him. Yeah. Why? Why you were talking? <laughs> but y'all didn't. Y'all miss when um Tariq don't told Tommy said, hey, Tommy, Uncle Tommy. How old were you when you lost your virginity? He was like, what? You hit the skis? So you getting some puss? He was like, yeah, you know, I was at a party, you know. Well, Tariq kind of, I don't even know how Tommy got this because he said he was at a at a friend named something. Yeah. Took him to a party. And then he, But somewhere out of that, Tommy said, thought that it was Dre. Andre. That Dre did it. I don't, so he I don't checked know where Andre, he got that from. He said, Andre, don't you ever take my nephew to another party. Where he's able to lose his virginity. I just said, what? I ain't take him to no party. I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know if that was a test or what. I don't I, know. I, that I one have, right there just went way over my head. I have. I said, I, maybe I'm tired of skit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, then we see uh, freaking Kanan come to that same house that Tariq went in. And hey, come Jukebox come out there. He was like, where is, where is Tariq? I got him. Yeah, I got him. And we back on track. Guess what? Ghost is a free man. Couple hours so now we out. can get, in a couple of hours he out, we can get the money and we can kill all of them and we're going to be set straight. And, and Candace said, what you want me to do? And that's how it ended. And that's how I ended. But did y'all catch when Silver went over to the house to tell Tasha, said, hey, your husband will be out in a few hours. Oh, he I was know, getting fresh. Yeah, he told me something. I know that y'all ass is a little frozen right now, so you may want to see if you can get some floating money. Yeah. You know, in between time. And that's when she called Stern. Yeah. And left him a message. was like, Stern, you know, da 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 I said. Here you go. But I, I, th I thought, I I'm thought, still, I, I thought, I thought Tasha like was getting ready to open her legs to Terry, but I think it's coming though. But she said, Terry, you did a good job. I said, Terry, didn't he didn't do nothing. He didn't do nothing. Angela was the one that got that through. Terry yeah. didn't do nothing. Now, Terry did his part, you know, as far as putting, um, what you call it, on the stand. But as far as him getting acquitted of the charges, that was Angela. It really was Angela. I got to give her a prop. That was all Angela. Mm. That was all Angela. So, all in all, tonight was an excellent episode. Now, it's finally, now we're back on now track. We, now, we back on track. We got the ghost that we wanted. You know, he, when he hit... Uh, Charlie Murphy with that got done. What the name is? Charlie. I said Charlie Murphy. Charlie Murphy with that got done. Wait, I was like, yes. That's Kelly. the ghost that I've been waiting to see. Ain't that bad we said Kelly, but he already. Yeah, real life yeah, he did. That's, yeah, yeah. Rest in peace. Rest, I'm sorry. Yeah, respect. Yeah, respect. Much, much respect. And that thing messed me up when he died for real, for real. Yeah. I, ain't, I ain't gonna lie to nobody. Yeah, that thing did mess me up. But that's it, y'all. We appreciate tonight's episode. So straight from the VA. Two up, two, two down. Holla.